As the Lone Star Sun sets on a weekend full of high school hoops, the nightcap is officially underway for Thanksgiving Hoop Fest 2021 in Fort Worth, Texas. Two of the nation's best battle it out as the number one DeSoto Eagles take on the Mount Verde Eagles out of Florida. Welcome to Fort Worth, AKA where the West begins alongside Heckma Harrison. I'm Kyle Yeomans and Heckma, we've got an old fashioned shootout on the docket for the 7 p.m. tip. Oh, absolutely we do. And two nationally ranked teams here and this is going to be an absolute shootout, like you said. Samaya Smith leads the way for the Soto Lady Eagles coming off of a state championship. She's a commit signee of LSU and head coach Kim Bolke. She's going to light it up tonight. Oh, Samaya Smith is going to be cleaning the glass all day. Her specialty is rebounding and shot blocking. She does it inside and outside on the offensive end. Now on the other side, Vermont Bird is a all Janaya Barker show. The way she's able to light it up with over 18 points per game so far this season. She averaged over 20 last year as a junior. Only way to describe Barker is a sharp shooter. She is going to do it all for her squad tonight. And again, this is a matchup between two powerhouse programs. Barker wearing number three for Mount Bird today. The five star number three in Hoop Girls 100 committed to Georgia. And like we said, 20 points per game last year, originally from Marietta, Georgia, as we take a look at the starting five for DeSoto. It is Smith alongside with Heron, Muhammad out there as well, Kate Wood and Thompson as Jemiah Harris will also find her way into the ball game. Plenty of talent on the Mount Bird side as well. Baker, Ovalle, the Texas commit in Codio as well. Tons of talent on both sides of the floor, and they're going to be up and down pretty quickly here. Expect this to be high scoring. Oh, it definitely will. And you talk about fast pace, but I think for the Lady Eagles, they're definitely going to have to be on this glass and making sure that they play tempo as well. It's going to be very important because it's Mount Verde squad. They can run as well. We're not going to waste any time seeing some competitiveness at the tip as both Smith and Barker set to get us underway here from Dickey's Arena. The penultimate game of the Thanksgiving Hoop Fest, and now DeSoto gets off the boards first. DeSoto is the state champions in the Texas 6A ranks a year ago, as this one's taken away. Shepard on the drive, tries to go coast to coast. Number three, as opposed to her normal number two. Guarded closely by Muhammad. Go by Thompson, offensive board goes to DeSoto. Now back into the corner, open shot for Perry. Offensive rebound again. Again, full of high school basketball. Some of the top teams in the country on display in the foul call, the back drive, but it's reeled in again on the baseline. Back from three, that one connects. Now into the corner, drive on the baseline from Harris. Off balance and she gets it to fall. Yeah, that's a good job by Harris. Her rear wins at the high school level. Yeah, she's just an exceptional coach in the nation, not just in Texas. There's a three-point try from straight away, and that one drops for Barker. Soto, better than what they've been getting before. And so whatever adjustment these guys made during that timeout, they got to continue with it. Iwachuku backing down her defender. Barker came in for the offense. And here's another look at the contact. Yeah, she went down hard on that elbow. Over the top, tipped away. Almost turned over, but it goes back to Barker, who pulls up the quick trigger off the mark. And you wonder if that elbow is still, if that's still lingering for her. For Harris. Harris. Pass down low, off the mark. Gaete fighting for the rebound instead. They're attacking them. And we're not used to seeing DeSoto get out rebounded like that in the lane. Locked it down low, baseline jumper, connect. Make some adjustments. And you know that Coach Robinson is gonna do that. They, right now, they don't have a flow going offensively. What a drive from Ovalle, but she takes a tumble on the way back down the floor, and that one turned over, back over. Can't hit that one. On the one and one, offensive rebound, second chance points. Barker on the drive, off balance, can't get it to fall, and that's a strong rebound from Perry. Down the floor, Smith. Yeah, yeah, just the one bucket so far. Smith. With a size mismatch in the paint, gets the offensive board, she puts it back. Smith, with a size mismatch in the paint, gets the offensive board, she puts it back. And his shots going back to the lane. And how about defense like that? Smith with the book in. Just really patient. Defense by Mount Verde, they're coming out with the ball, you man, and you see them pointing to one another to get help. And that defense forces a turnover. Barker the other way down the floor. Gets it to fall in. 
Eight points now for Janiah Barker. And she felt like that was an and one situation. Offensive board for Mahat. 25 seconds to play. Harris keeps her foot on the gas, gets it to fall. Oh, that's a great shot by Harris. She takes a left hand across. She goes lefty. Using the physicality and a sweet touch in the lane. Oh, that's so to pretty. To get it back within four. Yeah, that's just so pretty. Anytime you get that finger roll, and it just settles home. That's a good rebound by Ovalle down low. Offensive foul going to be called on Dyke. Working with three fouls, so keep that in mind for number 20 in the black jerseys. And they define, they depend on her heavily to close out on shooters. And to guard go along with three rebounds. Smith had that one poked away, tries to keep the handle, but it's Barker that rips it out. And she gets it taken from herself. All the numbers down the floor as Smith has a nice little bunny for the first she's quarter. Instead, they were down by 12 in the second. They cannot, and now it's numbers the other way for Mount Verde. Shepard dishes it off. Ovalle puts it home. This one. Nice feed underneath. Gatewood miss any more time with a knee injury, especially with what she's done to get back to that point. Down on the floor. Harris has that one knocked away. Over the top to Parker. He's had a nice night, 10 points. Now up to 11 Four. points. Adds to her double-digit, double-double stat line. Nice defensive effort there. Drive from Thompson, fouled, no bucket. The way by Smith. Harris has that one blocked. Neither team though, goes it. back to the Lady Eagles. This one from the corner, knocked down. Ready to shoot the ball at all times. As you see right there, she's got a feet set. In the DeSoto Lady Eagles. Locked it past to Parker. Reels it in, now it's back up top to Shepard. Tough defense from Thompson. She's still working with those three fouls. That's On the baseline, tucked away. Yeah, that's good defense right there by Samaya Smith. Good up. Off balance. Corey Allen back in the game for Coach Jennings. Shepard on the drive. Smith with the block. Look at that defense by Smith. I can't get it. Almost got the rebound as it was tipped her direction. Now it's Allen on the other direction. Easy lay in for Cody. Alongside Heckma Harrison, I'm Kyle Yeomans. Thanks for joining us on ESPN+. Plus. Hope you've had some fun with us from Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth, Texas. Smith with it. Parker in the corner. She has a dozen points to her total tonight. That one picked off. Harris jumps into the passing lane. Now ahead to Muhammad. Muhammad for the tie. Oh, Smith now with seven rebounds in the ball game. Three-pointer. That one falls. That one knocked away by Smith. Barker fights for it. She's fouled in the end one. It just won't be denied. She see Avaya with the block by Smith and goes up strong and hits the Three. ground. And just in this 2022 class. She missed the free throw, makes it a one point ball game. Back to three though, as Harris threes and she can take it to the hoop as well. Yes, she can. And you see that the Soto Eagles are stealing a little bit of this momentum back in this game. And it started with what they were doing defensively. How about this drive? You mentioned it at the end of the second. Big rebound from Heron there. Pushing the floor. Perry, now their largest lead of the night. That one picked off. Perry jumps in the lane, tried to take it coast to coast, and it's tripped up. We're going to call it Mount Verde basketball. For the most part, these officials tonight have been letting these two teams play. There has been a physicality aspect to it. Four and a half to play here in the fourth. Back up top to Thompson. Thompson rolls right on the drive. She gets it to fall. To go down. She's used as a power forward, but I guess she can take it on the drive as well. Oh, yeah. Very versatile. That one knocked away. Stays in bounds as Cotio gets it back, finds Ovalle on the drive, and she drops it. Soto as Muhammad, after the defensive play, 
with some contact, able to get it to rattle home. And with the left. That's, that's her offhand. Yeah. That's, that's a block. And on the inbound, it results in two. Trying to push the issue for DeSoto, who hadn't had any bad uh, offensive outputs here in the second half. They found this shot and got, found the ability to knock them down. And as I say that, there's a steal from Melford. And a foul as soon as they were doing in the first half by making mistakes like this. Yeah, but these ladies are getting down on the floor and everything counts right now. And you're right, every trip down the floor is crucial. Allen sizing up the defense. Off the hands of Codio and it goes out of bounds, a turnover and a costly one. And extended Heron on the low block. Tries to get it back up top, but instead it's poked away. Mount Bird in transition, fast break, bucket no good, last touch by Ovalle. Coach Robinson so upset on that last possession by Heron in that pass, but she can make up for it. And it comes in a crucial spot. Time running thin for Mount Bird. Barker backs her way in, and DM plus. Final minute of game action following the timeout. DeSoto with the basketball. Full court press. The pressure turned up with Notch. Now it's broken by DeSoto, but it's dropped on the baseline. Don't need a three here, but you might want a quick two. Corey Allen goes for the tie. Off the back board, no good. And a jump. Now the defense needs to stand strong. Cannot allow any three-point tries here. Ovalle with the basketball. Hestered by Harris, and they'll call a foul as Ovalle gets stuck on the floor. Yeah, a little bit of kick. Ball goes off of Harris's, off of her foot. Both teams with five fouls. Here in the quarter, or in the half, rather. So no bonus just yet. Into the corner, Ovalle with an open look. For the tie, no good. Allen on the putback, gets her own rebound, and she's fouled on her way to the floor. That was as good of a look as Mount Verde has had all night long to try and tie this back up. They do give it to Barker, underneath, too strong. Mount Verde. With the ball on the floor, has it tied up, and this time it goes to DeSoto. The yeah, ball gets into Janai Barker, and she does not miss from close range like that. Highly contested. Had a great look. Heron stayed true over the top. Great defense from the Kentucky signee. That's a great adjustment by Robson, putting 6-4 on 6-4. There's the foul. Harris in the corner, and Harris is quickly fouled. Good job by Corey Allen to get there quickly. Only a second and a half tick off. Yeah, Corey Allen is so scrappy. She's been all over this floor again, doing a lot of the dirty, dirty work for Mount Verde. First trip to the line for Jemiah Harris. Harris with 12 points in the ball game. Could add to that here. It is a one and one. Best case scenario here for Mount Verde is to see that first one rim out. Then you got to move quickly and set up a three point try. First one on the way. Off the mark. Rebound. Advantage Parker. Tries to split some defenders. No contact called. The pass ahead to make it a two possession game. DeSoto's going to escape with a win at Dickey's Arena. That's a great win for DeSoto. They pulled it out, and they did it by being gritty in the second half and just, just pretty much aligning themselves and dedicating themselves to offensive and defensive rebounding and, and just putting it all out on the floor. The awareness after the steal to push it down the floor to Jamia Harris for the connection and the bucket. We had ourselves a fun one here at the Hoop Fest at Dickey's Arena in Fort Worth for our entire ESPN crew and, uh, and my partner, Heckma Harrison.
I'm Kyle Yeoman saying so long from Dickey's Arena where the final score is DeSoto over Mount Verde. All games streaming live or archived for replay on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation.